Mississippi Valley all the way to the Atlantic coast tonight in the southern Great Lakes area, also up and down the Rockies and parts of the Intermountain West. But the low pressure area at the surface over Texas has weakened somewhat. We still have, though, an upper level area of low pressure, but it is moving slowly to the west. Because of that, I think our rain chances over the northern sections of the Lone Star State have now been eliminated for the remainder of tonight and for tomorrow. In fact, by early evening tomorrow night, our best rain chances will be in the southern one half of Texas, also in the western high plains down through the Rockies, through the Gulf Coast area, Florida, the South Atlantic states, from the Ohio Valley into the southern sections of New England, and also the extreme northern Great Lakes. So our forecast looks this way. Clear to partly cloudy and dry for the remainder of tonight. Southeasterly winds at 5 to 10 and a low of 75. For tomorrow, partly cloudy. Southeasterly winds to 12 and 95 for a high. And look at this. You've seen it before in our extended outlook. Fair to partly cloudy and dry with lows in the mid-70s and highs in the upper 90s. Okay, well, you won't have to shut down that lemonade stand out there in front of the station. We are going back to hot, hot, hot. Okay. The Cowboys head home for their first preseason game Saturday night against Miami. And our Rangers try one more time to break that losing streak. Brett Lewis has all the top scores next. At affiliated food stores this week, come to our big 38th birthday party. Register for over $60,000 in prizes, including two trips for two to Rio, an 83 Ford Ranger pickup, an 83 four-door Ford Escort, and a year's supply of a grocery product. Save two on Sure Fine Coffee. A one-pound can is $1.48. $1 buys three 150-count packages of AF filler paper. And a two-liter bottle of regular or sugar-free Dr. Pepper is 97 cents. Now at Affiliated. Or the baseball game isn't over until you know who sings. <laughs> yes, until uh, the fat person, uh, be they male or female, sing the final song, and then it ain't over until the Texas Rangers are still in it. Boy, was that a polite way to say that thing. Texas Rangers wrapping up a brief three-game homestand, looking to break an eight-game losing streak as they hosted the Boston Red Sox tonight at Arlington Stadium. Bottom of the third, George Wright up. Texas already ahead, one to nothing, one on, as Wright takes John Tudor into the left field stands to make it Texas ahead, three to nothing so for once they're not trying to come back top of the fourth watch this major league base running an infield hit by gary allenson but dave stapleton and reed nichols are going to both end up on third base now you guys you can't both stay there stapleton you've got to go home buddy bell to jim sunberg to bucky dent stapleton says forget this he is out take note young little leaguers that's the way to do it bottom of the fifth jim sunberg who had three rbis on the night brings home two of them right there larry Parrish and bill stein score as Texas goes up five to nothing. Once again, here's some base running for you to take note of. Field Bryan's out. Didn't matter. Texas wins at six to one. Rick Honeycutt, the winner. Kansas City over Milwaukee as we look at the American League scoreboard. Yankees over Toronto, three to one. In that game, Dave Winfield was warming up in the outfield, threw a ball, hit a seagull. They're charging him five hundred dollars for cruelty to animal. Honest. Tenth inning, Baltimore over Cleveland. It's Chicago defeating Detroit, 4-1 in the 6th. Also in the 6th, Minnesota over Oakland. On the National League, San Diego over Houston. Philadelphia beating Pittsburgh. The Cubs lead the Cardinals in the 8th, and Montreal beat the New York Mets. The most watched golfer going into this year's PGA Championships was Tom Watson, because this was the one tournament he had never won. It's too soon to say for sure, but he may have to wait another year. Watson struggled to a 4 over par 75, including a triple bogey to leave him 10 shots out of first place. That wouldn't be an insurmountable for a healthy Watson, but he's suffering from a chronic neck injury. In first place is Hal Sutton at six under par, thanks in part to this birdie on 16. Sutton is the leading money winner on the tour this year. Right behind Sutton, one stroke back, are Buddy Whitten, a club pro from Grand Rapids, Michigan, who just barely missed this birdie on 18, and Scott Simpson, who went five under with this birdie on 17. Looking at the leaderboard, you got Sutton in first, followed by Simpson and Whitten, John Folt, Danny Edwards, Bruce Lipsky, Ray Floyd, the defending champion in striking distance, Jack Nicholas at plus two. Former Arkansas running back Gary Anderson is suing to get out of his contract with Tampa Bay of the United States Football League. A Houston judge, in fact, has issued a temporary restraining order against Tampa Bay, allowing Anderson to sign a contract with San Diego of the National Football League. Anderson says his agent, Jerry Argovitz, 
steered him to the USFL because the league guaranteed Argovitz an expansion franchise. Dallas Cowboys got a break from training camp to head home for Saturday's preseason game with Miami, and none too soon. Witness what training camp can do, even to a reporter like our Kevin McCarthy. It doesn't really seem to matter how old you are, how out of shape you are, or if you think you're smart enough to know better. If you stick around cowboy training camp long enough, you're going to catch the dream. <laughs> You want to be a football hero. Uh, sure, it'd take a lot of work to get the old body back into some kind of shape, but you played a little football in high school, and you remember the drills. You just have to really dedicate yourself and have a positive mental attitude. Eliminate distractions. Give 110%. Remember that there is no game without the pain. The dream. It's the dream that creeps into the minds of millions of men every fall Sunday, daydreaming in front of the tube and secretly wondering what it would really be like to play for the Cowboys. Red, 21! Hut, hut! I mean, there are lots of average-sized putters, and if you built your leg up enough, Tom's looking for one. Hut, hut! And quarterbacks hardly ever even get hit anymore. If you practiced a lot with that old tire in the backyard, but best of all would be to be a wide receiver. They get all the glamour. You catch the ball on a dead run, cruise into the end zone in front of 60,000 screaming people, forget the fine, do a spectacular spike, eat your heart out, Butch Johnson. But nah, it's only a dream, and real pro football players are bigger, stronger, and faster than ever. But it doesn't hurt anything to dream. If you don't get any bumps and bruises that way either. Kevin McCarthy, Sports 4, Thousand Oaks, California. Fastest way to get rid of that dream, shake hands with Randy White. <laughs> <laughs> don't Randy mad at you? No, sir. Okay, Channel 4's Jocelyn White is on the town at a new French restaurant tonight. When we come back. Borrowing money can be intimidating. It can make you feel like you're running into a closed door. Well, at First Texas, they have money to lend right now, and they're ready to work with you to get your loan moving. So, when you need money for a new home, car, whatever, see First Texas, because their doors are open to close for loans. Beat the 80s with First Texas. Someday soon, you could very well have the best of everything. But you will have to begin somewhere. And the best place to begin is with the very best beer in the world. The best tasting beer wherever you go. When you think about it, why would you ever have anything else? Come to think of it, I'll have a Heineken. And finally tonight, if you've been looking for a good place to have lunch in downtown Dallas... Or if you don't mind venturing into the West End Historical District after dark... Channel 4's Jocelyn White has a gastronomic suggestion for you. It's a new French restaurant called Soray. The most unpleasant thing i found about Soray is the restaurant's location. It's more or less buried under the bottom of Woodall Rogers, but I found the best way to get there. Go north on Lamar from downtown until you get to the light, right before Woodall Rogers. Take a left. Continue over the railroad tracks until you see a gray two-toned building off to your right. It's concrete and it's called the Brewery Building. That's where Saray is located. Once you finally get inside, you are in for a treat. The owner, who doesn't mind being called Gilles, since his last name is practically unpronounceable, maintains his food is very good. But he says his prices are the best to be found anywhere, because he intentionally set them up that way. I think Americans appreciate very much to be able to eat a four-course French dinner for $20. And nobody can say he does not know how much he will pay. Because he can't pay more than $20. With one soup or salad, one hors d'oeuvre, one main dish, and cheese or dessert. As he mentioned, the prices are fixed. That means not more than $20 per person for dinner, and for lunch, half that price. Take my word for it, you are getting a bargain, because the food is as good as you'll find at some of the more expensive French places, and the service and the atmosphere are excellent. Plus, black tie or blue jeans, you'll get the same warm welcome from Gilles. So if you'll just follow my directions to the location, I 
think you'll find it was worth the treasure hunt. Jocelyn White, four on the town. With that time for us to say au revoir. And bon appetit. Good night.